Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn, and I am bringing you a bonus video this week. I am going to be deep cleaning in my kitchen, preparing for uh, hosting Easter. So if you are hosting for the holiday, if you celebrate Easter, then I hope this video helps to keep you company. Maybe while you are tidying up or getting some deep cleaning happening for guests coming. If you're new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming back to another video. Definitely leave me a hello in the comments. I would love to say hello to you as well. So first thing I'm going to work on, you saw my counters are a little dirty and uh, my top of my stove is dirty. And it hasn't been too long since I pulled these burners out because I only have done it once because I just learned how to do it from an awesome subscriber that has the same oven I do. Um, but they do get pretty gunked up. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up really good. And if you're not hosting for Easter uh, because you're just not hosting or because you don't celebrate and you have some spring deep cleaning to do, then I hope I'm keeping you company during that. If you watched my Tuesday video, then you already know that I asked you, uh, you know, what's going on in your world this week. So if you shared that with me, thank you so much. Uh, but if you'd like to share, do you have plans for Easter? Uh, any plans for the weekend? What projects are you working on? Definitely feel free to share any of that with me down in the comments. I always love hearing what's going on in your world. I think it was around Christmas time maybe that I shared like a great Christmas breakfast you could do if you wanted to. Um, just kind of shared with you what I was doing. I'm going to be doing the same thing for Easter. <laughs> I'm making a really delicious hash brown egg casserole. I'll pop the um, recipe up on the screen and I'm going to be making some sausage balls that are so good. And then we'll probably do like waffles and some fruit. We're going to do brunch at my house. I really want to try this French toast uh, fruit like bake that I found on Pinterest. But I just don't have enough room in my oven <laughs> to make all of those things. So uh, we're going to stick with the tried and true that we know a bunch of people love. So anyways, that's what I will be making for Easter a brunch and I'm darn excited about it because everything is absolutely delicious. So as I said, I've only taken these burner plates off one time since I've recently learned how to do it with this stove. Um, and I did a pretty good job of deep cleaning, but I don't think I did the best job. I took each burner plate off separately and I was a little nervous, you know, taking them off being my first time. So I did find quite a bit of grease in here, which, you know, it's been a few months since I've done this. So grease just builds up. But the burner plates, there were some areas that I definitely didn't clean last time. And even though I don't think my house smells like grease, like a restaurant or anything like that, um, it's just like when you dust, like when something is, an area is super dusty, it just smells a little fresher in there. So this time I decided to actually turn the burners over and look at the bottoms, which last time I was too nervous to do that. And there was so much grease caked up, especially on this one. I think I use this side more often. You can just see it. And it, as I was cleaning it, like it just stunk. It smelled like grease. So <laughs> hopefully it just makes the house smell a little fresher. And I just feel good knowing that I got it off. Now, when I actually turned this over, I was like, oh, this whole silver bottom can be removed. It is screwed on. Um, I was not going to try to mess with it. Look, as you can just see, like, all the grease caked up here. Um, I, again, 
was a little nervous and I was like, I am cooking on Easter, uh, which is just in a couple of days. And what if I do something that I break something, <laughs> which I probably wouldn't. But I was like, okay, Jody. now that you can see that this has screws and you can remove it, because I could hear like some crumbs and stuff jingling around inside there. I got to take the backs off and really give it a good clean. But I'm going to wait until after Easter to do this. So for right now, I'm just going to clean up this grease as good as I can and, uh, th and then shine up the tops of them. Now, when I first did this a few months ago, I had a few people suggest um, that I could buy some type of a paint, I think it was, to paint the burners to make them look brand new. I don't know if they're coming across on camera that they look rusted, because they're not. They don't look like that in person at all. Um but I don't know. I, I don't think I would ever paint the burners. I'm, I mean, I'm sure if somebody suggested that, there must be a paint that is made for the burners. To me, it just sounds so weird that something's going to get so hot and you put paint on it. But let me know if you've ever painted your burners. I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, but I did shine it up and clean it up real nice. The burners are not rusted at all. They're, I, I can kind of see now that I'm editing this where maybe you might think they look rusted, but in person they just look like gray burners. I'm taking an ultra fine microcloth and wiping everything down because it makes things so shiny. I just washed all of this stuff with dish soap. And you can see I didn't take the ultra fine microfiber cloth over here. And you can see like little water spots and stuff. I learned this little hack from Mac over at Midwest Magic Cleaning. I love his channel. So uh, this little ultra fine microfiber cloth just shined the stove up beautifully. And I didn't bother filming the second, cleaning the second burner, but I did it the exact same way. And the countertops were dirty before, but now they're even more dirty because I was splashing all of that grease around. So we're going to go ahead and just disinfect these with some Clorox cleanup with bleach, which is my favorite bleach cleaner. I spray that on, let it sit so it does its job of disinfecting. So while it's sitting, before I wipe it all off, I'm going to go ahead and wash my rugs which they've only been down because I just swapped these rugs out from my Christmas and my fall one like, I don't know, maybe a month ago. Um, so I can't imagine they are that dirty, but they do get walked on all of the time. So I'm just going to throw them in the washing machine and clean them up. We'll check the washer in a minute to see how dirty the water is. And of course, the one by the garage door is where we walk in. So uh, we do have shoes on and things, so I know we track a lot of dirt in. So I don't know. They might be they might be dirty. But I've had these rugs for, I don't know, like a year and a half now. And they wash up so, so nice in the washing machine. I think you're going to see everybody today in the video or maybe even here. Viv doesn't like to be on camera, so you won't be seeing her. Um... I don't know if you're going to see Donna Jean, but the girls are on spring break right now. So they are home and you're even going to see the hubs in this video. So I got the counters all clean and the stove all clean and it just is shining so beautifully. So you know how I planted the tulips indoors because I was really hoping for some blooms for Easter. That's definitely not going to happen. The video I watched said it took a month and I did it on February 29th. They're growing beautifully, but I'm definitely not going to have blooms. Uh, let's take a look. Yep, it's dirty. Look at how dirty that water is. Man, only a month. Uh, it just shows you how much dirt you track in. That's why we don't wear our shoes in the house hardly ever. Sometimes I forget to take my shoes off when I um, have to leave again, but for the most part, we don't wear shoes in the house, so that rug really helps to kind of contain the dirt. So uh, as, as I said, I wanted to do some deep cleaning, so I want to get all of the woodwork in my kitchen cleaned today. 
just the little part that I just did above the door is just dusty. They just get dusty. So we're going to work through and uh, clean every piece of woodwork in my kitchen today. Back to the tulips. I think I'm going to run to the store and see if I can find like a little, I just wanted some Easter flowers. I'm not buying tulips though because I have enough that I'm growing. But I'd like to have some blooms for Mother's Day. So I think I'm going to start another batch maybe six weeks before I'll get blooms. Um, again, it's, you know, like I said, I watched the video of how to grow them indoors and followed her instructions and she said in about a month, but that's just always going to vary based on, you know, your location, your temperature, all of that stuff. Uh, they're way taller than the, the tulips I planted outside, but I don't think I'm going to have blooms. It's going to be maybe another two weeks. So I'm hoping that if I start one like this week, that maybe I'll have blooms by Mother's Day indoors, I hope. My local grocery store had some absolutely beautiful lilies. Uh, so maybe I'll get that because I just refuse. I'm not going to buy any tulips because I got a lot that I planted and more that I can plant. Uh, as I was cleaning here, I noticed that yes, even some of the walls were a little dirty. I got a dang wall cleaner months ago. I've never tried it. I need to get it out and just go through my house and uh, clean all the walls because I'm sure those get the dust on them just like the woodwork and stuff does. Um, so anyways, we're going to have to try that out soon. Let me know if you use a wall cleaner. I have um, the tool, a wall cleaner tool, and then I bought a cleaner that's specifically for your walls. I can't remember what it's called now. I'll show it in a video soon. I got to use that thing. But if you've been with me for a while, then you might recall, although it was towards the beginning of when I started my channel, um, basically my whole entire house was wallpaper. The only I only had two rooms that did not have wallpaper on the walls. So adjusting, I, I love, you know, how we painted everything. Look at this wall. I Like, I don't understand. I guess it's because right where we walk in, but... I used to have the trash can over here, and so, you know, the wall would get dirty. That I understood, but I moved that, and I'm just like, where the heck are all of these spots coming from on the wall? So it's definitely been an adjustment getting used to having painted walls because you don't see this type of thing when you have wallpaper. There might be dirt on the wallpaper and stuff, but all my wallpaper was highly patterned, uh, so you didn't see it, so... <laughs> When I'm cleaning like woodwork and stuff, I'm like, oh, look at that all over the walls. It just looks dirty. I, I never noticed it before when we had wallpaper. Most of the spots are coming off with, I'm just using um, Fabuloso in the Lemon Scent, which is one of my favorite all-purpose cleaners. Um, and most of the spots are coming off. Any that don't, I'll just take a magic eraser too. So again, I said... I'm, I'm doing it all. I didn't film it all, but I'm getting all of the woodwork. All of the woodwork around my cabinets is not white, so it doesn't show the dirt nearly as much or the dust. They're all like wood colored. They're not real wood. When I was just cleaning them, I could tell they're not real wood, uh, but they are, they need to be cleaned as well. So we're just going to work through all of this woodwork and get it all fresh and clean. My grandbabies, oh my gosh, aren't they so adorable? They are in Jamaica on spring break right now. They are coming home today. Uh, I miss them so much. I haven't seen them in a week. Uh, so I cannot wait to see them. They'll definitely be here for Easter. Here comes Clarky. He was quite confused because I moved his dishes to clean over here. <laughs> Hi, Clarky. You come in and I'll move your food and stuff back, okay? It's dirty back here, Clarky. It's dirty. Did you make it this dirty? Did you make it this dirty? Huh? You don't love you.
his dish is like right behind me. And he kept going over there, putting his nose in the water, but he was so confused. He didn't want to drink out of it because it was not in his normal spot. So I was trying to get this done quickly. It was quite dirty back here, which makes sense because this is where he eats and drinks. So he'd go over to his bowl and then he'd come back to me like, Mom, put my, my water back. Almost done with the woodwork. This was quite a job. I mean, cleaning woodwork and my kitchen's fairly large, so it takes a long time. I know, you know, somebody's going to say you should get like a Swiffer duster, which I have one. I, I don't know. I just prefer cleaning the woodwork like this. You know, as I talk about several times, there's no right or wrong way to clean. You can get things clean in several different ways. Do it whichever way you prefer. Probably because this is how my grandma taught me how to clean woodwork. This is how I clean the woodwork. And when I do it this way, I always discover something that I would have missed or have missed before just trying to dust them. I've never cleaned the registers in the kitchen. And when I was down here cleaning the woodwork, I could not believe how terrible this register looked. And then when I pulled it out, I was like, what the heck is down there? A dang dryer sheet. Why? Why? And how did a dryer sheet get into my vent? Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Did I say register? I, it's a register cover. Um, so we're going to clean that. And I'm just using the little removable base from my cordless vacuum. A shot back probably would have worked better, but I think it's either out in the garage or in the shed. So I just used what was handy to use. Uh, the, the register cover, which made me a little bit sad. It's dusty for sure. Um, this is a piece of kibble stuck in here, and this is Gus's kibble. Gus was my Great Dane. He passed away at 10 years old in 2021. And yes, this register has definitely some dust in here, but you know what it was filled with the most? This is Gus's hair in here. So I, I've never cleaned it. I cannot believe it. And there is a way to remove the back it's like a bulky register cover. I just didn't, I couldn't figure it out. It almost looks like it has little clips inside, but it just wasn't coming off easy. So I'm just going to use the sprayer and a toothbrush to get all of the hair out. Oh, my Gus's hair. Ah. If you've ever lost an animal, I know you understand, but they're just, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about him and don't miss him. I miss him all the time, and then, you know, I find a dang register that's filled with his hair because this, that he eats in the same spot Clark eats. Uh, so, anyways, I thought I better check the other register in the kitchen, was, which was not nearly as dusty, and it didn't have any of Gus's hair in it. But it did have a little bit of leaf remnants in, probably from us tracking them in from the uh, outside. So, we're going to get this one cleaned up as well. I have a feeling that these register covers were maybe gold at some point. Um, I'm sure they're quite old. We're actually going to replace all of our register covers um, maybe this year. We have like all matching ones throughout the house um, and quite a few of them are broken. So these ones are all nice and clean. I contemplated taking like some barkeeper's friend and see if I could shining them up, but then I was like, no, don't bother. <laughs> so here's the dirty water that's just from the woodwork in the kitchen. All right, next thing we're gonna clean is my microwave and um, the shelf that it sits on. The shelf is very dusty and my microwave, it's not terrible, but it hasn't been cleaned in a few weeks. So it's got some food and stuff stuck uh, inside and on the door. I'm gonna try a little hack that I've never tried before. I just have a cup full of water and I am just going to put it in here and uh, run the microwave for five minutes and just let the steam loosen everything up. You can put vinegar in it, you can put lemon water in it. I just did straight water. I just wanted to see, because I've never tried it, how this worked. 
I probably wouldn't do this all the time because I clean my microwave fairly regularly uh, just with dish soap. So it doesn't usually get too bad, but it's been a couple weeks since I've cleaned it. And so there was quite a few stuck on food pieces in here. You can maybe kind of see how the steam um, just steamed up in here. And I gotta say, it did make it very, very easy. Everything just wiped down with ease. So I might use this little hack again. I've never tried it before because it doesn't usually even take me five minutes to clean my microwave. It just usually takes me like two minutes. So it kind of seemed like a waste to, to run it for five minutes just to let it steam up and then clean it when I could clean it in two minutes without going through that extra step. But if it ever gets really bad, I will definitely uh, use that method because it did wipe up just so, so easy. And it's all nice and clean now. So if your microwave is really bad, like you haven't cleaned it in a long time, no judgment here because there are several spaces I have showed you where I hadn't cleaned it in a long time. Try that hack. Uh, this was pretty cute. You'll hear Donna Jean in a second answering my call to my husband that he ignored. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> Pizza reviews? It's bar stool. Okay. Alright, sorry to bother you. I'm gonna try to keep our house clean. Apple bottom. Not pick it up. What the hell happened? I don't know. Go ahead and put it back. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. It like flew forward? Yeah. Did you get this side? Yeah. It's been stuck on something. I don't, what would it have been stuck on? Maybe I had it on a corner. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. No husbands were harmed in the, the helping of lifting the microwave. So, you know, I have to laugh at that. <laughs> if he would have been hurt, I wouldn't have laughed. But he wasn't hurt. I don't know what happened. That was just kind of weird. And I don't know if you heard Donna Jean in the background. If you have teenagers, then you know the language they use, the phrases, the words. It's the craziest thing, which sometimes my husband will complain about it. And I tell him, uh, our parents used to think the same thing, I'm certain, with the words that we used to use. So when you say something, let me see if I can explain this correctly. When you say something like sarcastically, but it makes sense, then somebody else might say, Apple bottom jeans. I don't know where that came from. They have the craziest dang words uh, and phrases ever. So when my husband was like, I'm watching pizza reviews, he was just joking, of course. And I was like, sorry, I'm just trying to keep our house clean. And Donna Jean in the background, could you hear? She goes, apple bottom jeans. <laughs> Learning the teenage lingo. Oh my heavens, it's a job in itself. But I was cracking up a couple weeks ago, we were talking about it, some phrase that they were saying. And, you know, my husband was like, "You, the way you guys talk, it's ridiculous. And I was like, uh, we used to say ridiculous things too. And he was like, yeah, I guess you're right. Remember gag me with a spoon? Who grew up in the 80s and the 90s? I mean, gag me with a spoon was the phrase... <laughs> 
all of us girls used when something was disgusting or something like that. And I was telling my girls about it and they're like, that is the dumbest thing ever. And I'm like, well, we feel the same way about the stuff you say. <laughs> you have to share with me a phrase that you used to use all the time when you were a teenager. Who remembers Bogue? Why are you being so Bogue? <laughs> <laughs> my girls were like, what does that even mean? And I'm like, yep, I know. I'm sure our parents said the same things because we say that about all the things you girls say. I follow a middle school teacher on Instagram and he's always like explaining what the new terms mean. So I try to keep up with that. So that way when my girls come home and say something, I can like actually know what they're saying and have a conversation with them and kind of be like the cool mom that knows what's happening. <laughs> but sometimes I still am lost. We are almost finished with deep cleaning the kitchen and I'm super happy to have this all done. I did it a few days before Easter, so I'll just have to wipe up. But everything I wanted to shine the sink up, get all the woodwork cleaned up, so happy I got the register vents cleaned up. The sink looks beautiful now. And uh, you might be surprised, but I'm going to actually mop the floor. I just mopped it like a month ago. <laughs> I told you I only mopped my kitchen floor like three, three to maybe four times a year. I'm really bad about mopping. And my poor grandbabies, whenever they come over, they always have dirty feet because they don't wear socks on hardwood so that they don't slip. So we're going to mop the floor, even though I just did it a month ago. And this is actually the next day. I just threw on my clothes from the day before. I haven't showered yet. I'm going to get in the shower in a minute. I wanted to get the floor all mopped uh, and cleaned up. The Rugs, um, I don't dry them in the dryer. I just set them downstairs um, over some folding chairs to dry up. Um, so those should be dry because I let them dry overnight and then we'll replace the rugs. It's still ding like 30 degrees in Michigan. I think actually on Friday, the day you're going to see this, we're supposed to have like 50 degree weather. So that'll be nice. If it was warmer, I would have just dried the rugs outside in the sun but it was not warm enough for them to dry, so they had to go down in the basement. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate you and hope I was able to keep you company while you were getting something done in your house. Let's take a look at the water. It is dirty. The floors needed a mopping, so I'm glad I took care of that. Uh, probably like a month ago, I got these cute little hand towels um, from TJ Maxx, and they are, but they have bunnies on them, so kind of Easter themed or spring themed. So I thought I would put these up. Aren't they so darn cute? So I got my stove top totally deep cleaned. Uh, all the woodwork has been dusted and cleaned. The register covers are all cleaned out. Uh, what else did I do? I feel like I did. Oh, scrubbed my sink out, which really needed it. Mop the floor, wash the rugs. We got a nice, fresh, clean kitchen. Disinfected all the counters. I cleaned off the fronts of all the appliances, the microwave, everything. So feeling super ready to have some guests over for Easter. All right, I did run to uh, the store to see if they had any more of those beautiful lily arrangements. Uh, but in the meantime, I was cleaning up some bags I had from stuff I bought like a month ago. And I found this cute little duck. I got it at Kohl's. I forgot to put it up with my Easter decoration. So we're going to incorporate this over here because I think he's such a dang cute duck. I think I bought it with the intention of putting it on my bookshelves, which I might eventually, but I thought he looked super cute uh, here in the kitchen with Mr. my Mr. Bunny picture. And then I found uh, they still had, I was kind of worried, but they still had a ton of beautiful lily arrangements. So I got that for some Easter flowers and I'm gonna plop it right over here. So we got a nice little lively plant flower area over here. 
All right, well, there is no way these babies are gonna bloom. <laughs> Today is Friday. Uh, we have Easter in two days, so no way they're gonna bloom, but that's all right. It was my first time growing them indoors. Now I will know. They take longer than a month, at least for me. So I got the lilies. They are gorgeous. And um, I still have three that haven't opened. So that will look super pretty for Easter. And once they start dying off, I will plop them somewhere out in my yard and hopefully they will come back. And I love the little duck. I totally forgot I had bought that. So let's take a look at the kitchen. All right, I know I'm facing the sun, but we are all finished. Got it all deep cleaned. Everything over there looks beautiful. Uh, everything looks cleared off. I just have a little pile on the counter that I need to take care of and my grandbaby's toothbrushes that are sitting there, but that is it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope I kept you company if you are getting ready. And if you celebrate, I hope you have a fantastic Easter. And I'm going to see you again on Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.